AI-generated text may make fraudulent claims. Hey, I am Chuck the Bureaucrat, and today I want to address an important point about text generated by artificial intelligence and the role that it might play in your VA claim. You know, over the past year or so, more and more authors have been commenting that this artificial intelligence text generation might not be as good as the salespeople want you to believe. The people who just love AI will grudgingly admit that sometimes it has these hallucinations where it makes statements that are blatantly untrue or it becomes wildly confused. But as more than one author has pointed out, these hallucinations are more than just flukes in the behavior of the AI. They're bullshit. AI is bullshitting its way through these texts. And that's not particularly surprising when you consider that many of these large language models are trained on internet text. The AI was trained on politicians' posts and cam girl discussion threads and message board trolls. It achieves a human-like response by mimicking human text in all its forms. But I don't care about that. I care about you, and I care that you don't run into trouble with your VA claims. And here is where the intersection of AI and government benefits becomes a tricky place. You see, one of the ways that you can run afoul of the VA is by committing fraud in your benefits claim. And there is no statute of limitations on false statements. And that is where this bullshitting behavior of AI can get you into trouble if you're not careful. Here's an example. I asked a popular AI tool to recommend a qualitative statement to describe my knee pain. And the AI cheerfully blurted out that I suffer from persistent knee pain that feels like a deep, constant ache. It described my hypothetical pain as radiating down my leg and limiting my ability to walk. AI even added this nice little touch about a grinding sensation. Now, I happen to have knee pain, but it's one of those conditions that the VA has rated at 0%. But that's because I don't have a constant ache. The pain doesn't radiate, and it doesn't limit my ability to walk. And I certainly do not experience a grinding sensation. But here's the point. AI does not know the truth, and honestly, AI doesn't concern itself with the truth. In fact, it seems that the way that the AI generates this response is by looking up the symptoms associated with a condition and then using that to produce the response. Kind of a, a circular logic. But so what? Well, I'm not exactly telling you to avoid using AI when you produce your VA claim. AI can benefit your, your grammar and your sentence structure in a way that, that benefits everybody. But I am saying, do not simply copy and paste whatever AI cranks out. Stop. Look at it. Is it true? Does it describe your situation? Does it match your medical records? Because I will warn you about this. Somewhere in the bowels of the VA is some dude who sits at his little desk reviewing 20 claims a day. And just like a first sergeant who has inspected hundreds of uniforms, he can spot when something is not right from a mile away. So our little VA claims reviewer buddy, he's flipping through your claim and just like that first sergeant who catches a uniform infraction out of the corner of his eye, he is going to zero in on your AI-generated text. He's going to take a closer look, and if he finds outright lies and falsehoods, I can only imagine that he's going to take a dim view of your whole file. Now, I say this, but don't get too worried. There really isn't that much that you can do to accidentally screw up your VA benefits claim, and if you want to see what I mean by that, watch this video.